Hello and welcome back to another Pressing HD video. Today we have another career mode player review. Bang career mode is on its way, don't worry. We wrap it up with in the next two episodes and then we return to Everton. But elsewhere we have this very, very interesting player review. It is of none other than James Ward Prowse, the future of the England midfield, and of course the absolutely fabulous central midfield player from Southampton. He starts off at 74 and, well, for me, reached 83, which is two off his full potential. But remember, I did not, in this case anyway, simulate the full 15 seasons. This was in four, five odd seasons. So he does grow overall pretty fast and he was certainly, certainly not finished developing. Looking at his stats, he becomes a tactical monster. You look at his stats at the start and you see his mental physical stats, they actually do all right. Um, they actually look good because there's no reds. They are all yellow or above. So they are almost consistently medium, if you like. They're consistently, what's the word? I suppose medium is the, probably the best word. When you get his growth, he gets exactly the same areas, but stepped up a level. His aggression was normally yellow. That went light green. His vision down to his balance is normally light green. That went dark green. His jumping down to his reactions is normally yellow. That went light green. His sprint speed to his stamina is normally light green. That went dark green, etc, etc. So you can see they all grow very consistently, which is something we're noticing with these player reviews. They grow consistently and very consistently for that matter. They do not, in fact, really change up much. And that also tells me there's something in EA's growth system, which means not one stat really, really shines out more than many others. Of course, when you get higher, when you hit 90 on one stat, his stat won't grow 10 if another stat which was rated 80 grows 10, will it? It will, it will balance out. But at the same time now, we have another page, and it's his skill attributes this time. He really does become a great tactician of the ball, a great crosser, a great dribbler, and well, his free kick accuracy. He will stand out and stand up to your team, taking a free kick like an absolute boss. Again, not one bronze or red stat. He is all out green and yellow. He is just simply fantastic and is such a consistent midfielder. Like this guy would slot into Manchester City midfield at uh, this potential, even though on this game he hasn't really reached his top, top potential. So my overall thought, I give him a four star rating and these are the reasons why, but exactly more on why the four star rating out of five later. He has a growth of nine, of course, though he was probably still developing. He was only around 27, 28 at the time. He could push a few more stats on my opinion. So he's best suited for a team at the beginning, 3.5 star to four star. But as you grow, you should have him growing as well. But say you're in the fifth season, you could buy him with a five star team as he's already grew in Southampton. He's normally available from the start of career mode, of course, for around four to eight million pounds. You won't get him any cheaper because English players, especially, but just as a whole, young players are very, very expensive in this game. You pay overpriced for their rating. So, Will Hughes, he can go for two, three million and he's only a 70 rated player. What you're paying for is his potential. Of course, when they reach that potential, they're worth way more than what you originally bought them for. But the key is, they've got to reach that potential in the first place. He grows fast. He's a very bright prospect for centre and midfield in career mode. An incredibly bright prospect. The good thing about him, he is versatile. And I've mentioned versatility in career mode so many times. On my versatile players in career mode tutorial, which include the likes of Thomas Muller and some other players as well, I said, do you want a like lesser player versatile? So 80 or under? or 75 or under. Ward Prowse would come under that sector. Cam, CDM, uh, right mid, left mid. He could even play 
striker if you really needed him to. But he's got defensive qualities. There is no two ways about it. If you do remember, he does have defensive qualities. His stand and slide tackle are good. He also has great crossing, so he could fit in as a winger. His pace is not bad. You can see if, uh, well, you can't see now, but his pace reached 85, so he's not bad. Uh, that's his sprint speed, of course. His free kick accuracy, 94, so he'd work as a cam. His long pass, 89, work as a CDM, almost like as a filling player, like Perlo. He is just so good. This guy is one of the greatest growth players in this game with well-rounded stats. He will be your equivalent of your new Johan Kabai, but even better. And the fact that he's English, I think... It can attract more people because if you're doing it with an English team, it's nice to try and get as many English players as possible. So it really does open a whole new sector up with that as well. Like it says on this section now, it can help you in a relegation battle. You could buy this player with a team like West Brom, with a team like Hull City, with a team like Sunderland. He would be tank. He honestly would be an absolute boss. It would be beautiful to have such a player growing and I mean players like this in career mode when all their stats look so attractive they always play well for me they create so much I compare them to the likes of Strootman and Strootman in my Everton career mode is now reached 85 86 he is insane Ward Prowse he can do that he can do your dirty work he can do your slide tackling he can do all your aggressive attacking styles and defensive styles but he can also have that flair, have that sprint speed, have that magical touch, have that magician's vision to pick out a pass. He is simply perfect. And well, despite the fact that his growth is only nine, he didn't quite reach 85 in my test. I would, I would recommend this guy either way. I don't have a bad word to say about him, apart from the fact that his rating maybe could have been slightly better. But his rating doesn't matter. It really is how he plays with you. So, he is one of my favourite career mode players and one of the best options you can get. I do thank you watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button. We've got more player reviews coming soon. Make sure you make your suggestions down below for what players to do. And I will see you next time.